Hello from Slovenia again. I will use the same colors that I used for those balloon deeps and uh, strainer pour that I did yesterday, but I will do a double dip today. Uh, so I have two MDF boards there and I will put some black base because I like how these paints look with the black base because they stand out really nice against the black. Uh, a lot of colors do but sometimes some of them get a little I don't know, not muddy, but you can lose some vibrancy sometimes with the black base, but I think that with those colors, this black base is the best choice. So, uh, and I was debating to myself whether I want to do this tree effect or should I try something a little different with the double dips and I was thinking what would happen if I just do those you know puddles like I did for the balloon and tear them apart if it will create kind of a flowery look. I just think that I have a little less black here so I want a little more. Uh, I did try it once and it didn't turn out quite okay but maybe if I try to do it you know um, just here and dip them together and see what will happen. Maybe we can try this today. What do you think? <laughs> you can tell me what you think. Aren't you? I will just pop these air bubbles a little bit. And I will just go with... Oop. Doing three puddles here. Okay, this was greenish blue and this is pearl white and permanent red violet and extreme sheen gold Oop. and I mixed some Naples yellow with azo yellow deep just to have a little different and I really like that this blue and yellow created some nice colors so let's do the same Oop. and violet again huh. and now I have to do it kind of similar here I can Oop. let's see just if you don't try you don't know <laughs> violet and gold and yellow And greenish blue again. I like the shade of green that these two create together. And pearl white again. And violet again. Probably I didn't do this quite okay to put them together, so I don't know how this will look at all. But after all, we can do just this that I would. I can just, you know, drizzle some paint on top and do it once more and this will not work, but hopefully, huh. 
afraid that I will ruin this even before I will put it down. So, okay. And I will lift it because I want this effect, you know, that paint will flow towards the bottom. <laughs> Definitely not what I was thinking of. <laughs> no! I wasn't thinking of that kind of a look, so let's do just the tree effect. <laughs> So I will just drizzle some black on top here and then I will add some, just drizzle some paint and I will go all over. Okay, glue and permanent red violet next. Maybe I should add pearl white in between that I didn't. Now I have a problem. So let's add yellow next and then gold. And I have a little of this thin down black and I will just add a little of this black on top just to maybe, I don't know, just playing again. Okay, we have a, a stripy thing ready, press. Oop. Go there. Press together. And tear them apart. Oop. Suction. Maybe this is just way too dark now. I think that today is not my day. I already scraped one big canvas today. Maybe the black uh, that I added wasn't such a good idea. That I added on the, you know, the one that I did before. Because I, I still have, I have a lot of black or the black on the, the top wasn't a good idea. I don't know. Because I think that I have too much black. <laughs> but if I will dip it once more, probably I will just but let's do it. Let's drizzle paint a little differently to this time. Let's add some of this blue like that and some pearl white like that. Let's play. And Purple one. Oop. I will be out of it. Okay. 
to I have some gold somewhere. I am out of stream sheen gold. Um, but I think that I have some mixed in in some maybe in some squeeze bottles from. from a long time ago. Oop. This is what happened in squeeze bottles, you know. Definitely don't want any more black. You see, obviously not my day today. Let's see. Definitely more vibrant. I will put them together because I like to see them kind of together, but still have to be some space to paint to flow. I like this one more where is less of this permanent red violet, I think, and I like that I got some lacing so I will say that I will keep those two I will just grab a, a straw just to blow a little bit of this off Maybe I will just play a little here, but definitely I like this one with less purple. Maybe just enough purple and on the other one, I should say permanent red violet. See, some lacing and some blending of colors. This is the second one. Maybe not bad, but I think that it's just a little too much purple here. So, uh, that's how it is with dipping, you know. Uh, you, ju you just try to add... Uh, paint on the canvas or MDF boards differently, separate them differently and you should get pretty different results. So I hope that this will help someone. Mm, I definitely think that I still, I don't know, I will still try to do a, a one flower <laughs> double dip, but maybe just on one, wow, look at this on the table. <laughs> Have to dip something, some cabochon in this or something. Uh, so, uh, just play with the paint and see what will happen. <laughs> so this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!